Hello, I'm Margaret Graziano with Keen Alignment, where we empower people in gaining organizational traction through culture. Today, let's start by trying something different. I'm gonna ask you a few questions, and I want you to write down the answers, either A or B. Don't overthink it, just go with your first instinct. At work, I prefer A, a well-defined process to follow, B, freedom to think and act. Write down A or B, whatever is most true for you. The best ideas come from A, proven research, B, open conversation. My attitude about risk is A, never act without a plan, B, what's the worst thing that can happen? I describe myself as A, organized, B, messy. Others see me as A, reserved, B, emotional. Now look at your responses. If you answered mostly A's, you're probably a logical left brain thinker. If most of your answers were B, you're probably a right brain creative. No matter if you tend to lean more left or lean more right, designing an effective and robust talent retention strategy requires you to integrate both hemispheres of your executive brain. The left hemisphere is about structure. When I think about this hemisphere, I think about Bill Nye, the science guy. He's analytical, organized, he identifies with logic, process, facts, science, and mathematics. He's an engineer. The right hemisphere is about freedom. This hemisphere is visual and intuitive. It's creative, spontaneous, artistic, and it's what allows us to connect to other people. When designing your 21st century talent strategy, it's critical that you understand the, your organization's business model. The organizational business model is all science and takes left hemisphere thinking to understand. Knowing the business your organization is in is a fundamental requirement for designing a comprehensive and useful talent program. This includes understanding the competitive landscape, your ability to articulate and converse about the products and services your organization offers, and your clarity about what makes the organization unique and special. A keen awareness of operating and labor costs, business cycle, growth plans, staffing requirements, as well as budget is necessary when designing an effective talent retention strategy. The utilization of employee and business data gives insights into systematic patterns and trends, which are critical for analyzing, forecasting, and planning. Identifying the cost benefit for your talent strategy program and determining in advance the return on investment back to the organization is an absolute requirement for executive sponsorship and alignment. So that's the science piece. Now for the art. We use our right hemisphere of our executive brain when we're designing the talent strategy. This is about creativity and accessing our out of the box thinking, looking forward into the great unknown. It's the right hemisphere that gives us the ability to look beyond job title and roll into the dimensions of what it means to be a human being at work. Seeking to understand what people need and want is the fabric of any successful talent strategy. And it's the empathy for others that allows you to understand. Empathy is required to shape a culture that brings out the best in people. So if we wanna create a competitive 21st century talent strategy, we need to integrate the dimensions of art and science, right and left, people and strategy. This leaves us one step closer to shaping a high performance culture. Today, we're offering you our ebook on how to stratify HR. I've included the link in today's email. It's a great resource for you to leverage and incorporate into your teams. A word to the wise from Jim Collins, great vision without great people is irrelevant. Thank you so much for being here today. Goodbye for now.